Well, Janine, it is very good to be catching up with you again, and I'm excited that we can bring some new faces to the channel. Things died down after the heavy brunt of COVID lockdowns. Things did settle down a bit. But I like to be bringing new information to the viewers as often as possible. With COVID, it wasn't possible. You had no airlines flying. I couldn't travel. I couldn't go interstate. And for people overseas, they may not know this, but within Australia, many of us, we weren't allowed to go more than five kilometres or ten kilometres from home. In Sydney, it was crazy, wasn't it? Well, it makes it difficult for me to travel. And mm. one of the issues I have faced mm -hmm. is Australia is such a big place. Mm. I've, I've been contacted by so many people saying, oh, do an interview over in Perth and go to New Zealand. And well, there's Carl Lentz in New York. And these things are good, but if the borders are closed and the airlines are not flying and the long distance travel costs are immense, it's, it's been difficult. And I can't always expect people to come to me because likewise, it's a big wide world for them as well. Exactly so. It's an incredible, uh, it's always very special when we're able to catch up in person and chat yeah. about these really important things. Um, yeah, exactly. But what with this whole scenario, we've got climate lockdowns to look forward to in the 15 minute city, smart cities. So yeah, there's a lot to chat about in, in that regard because we've had a little taste of what they're planning to roll out and we need to be prepping ourselves um, mentally to recognize that everything is not ever going to go back to normal this plan is going to roll out but even with a lot of protests so there's going to be two there's going to be a massive separation of humanity into two groups those who are happy to go along with the plan and those who are not and that's what we're sort of going to we're going to talk about um, Robert so yeah we've had a taste of what they want to roll out um, but at this time what's coming is going to be uh, hard martial law that was soft martial law they're planning to roll this stuff out with uh, an invasion uh, some nuclear war uh, an invasion soldiers in the street hard lockdown very likely um, a dark winter where there's um, been a power outage so there's no power um, and soldiers in the streets so yep just want to give everyone a heads up so don't get too comfortable and think everything's going back to normal because they're rolling out this technocracy AI smart city plan it's still rolling out but we've got we've got ways of fighting it that's what I want to that's what I want to really bring to the table so does this mean, for example, that although the COVID lockdown restrictions may be gone or mm. largely gone, mm. you're saying there are more lockdowns on the way, but mm. what is going to be used, what reasoning to justify placing people into these martial law style restrictions and lockdowns? Yeah, well, there's, um, they've got World War Three uh, on the cards. So um, watch that scenario, watch what's going on in the Ukraine and watch how that is spreading. It's spreading from NATO to America being involved. Uh, for Australia, China have said when they take back Taiwan and if Australia gets involved in that, which everything is being set up for that, if Australia gets involved, China's ambassadors have said Australia will be Armageddon, Armageddon, Armageddon for Australia. Very, very emphatically, I might add. So um, what I'm trying to say is um, keep your eyes um, peeled everywhere because this is a multi-dimensional attack and be prepared for the next phase so there's a professor over in america i'm sorry i don't have his name but he in the very early stages of covid said look this is china he, he's an expert in china's um, long-term strategic plan to conquer the world and he said covid19 was their first phase of attack, soft martial law. Um, the lockdowns were really a siege, see it as a siege. So back in the old days, you'd have the walled towns and cities and you'd, ha you'd have the army come around, they would surround the city and the city itself would lock down so that the army couldn't get in uh, and they would have their supplies that they would have inside their city so that they could uh, survive the siege to be able to fight off the invader. Um, so that's effectively what the locks 
lockdowns were um, but they have got phase two which is a military phase so we just want to be um, prepared for that okay thanks